Welcome back to KMOT First News at 10. I'm John Jacklin. Last month, the Minot Honeybees announced the hiring of Craig Montvitas as the team's first ever coach. I caught up with Montvitas last week when he was in town visiting from the Netherlands. For the last 40 years, Montvitas has been coaching softball across Europe and other parts of the world, including leading the Netherlands national team. He initially reached out to the Honeybees to work in connection with his camps in Europe that send players and coaches to the U.S., and the opportunity to be the head coach took off from there. Montvitas shared his first impressions of the Honeybees organization. The organization's been great from the first first call. Uh, the people I've spoken with, um, very energetic, very positive, um, very professional, and uh, with a goal in mind. Coaching a team in its inaugural season presents unique challenges, and he talked with me about his expectations leading up to opening day. In this situation, it's going to be everything on the run. Uh, we're putting together a team, so the players will show up sometime in June, and we'll have a very short window to get to know everybody. It's kind of go on the fly and uh, make it work from there. The Honeybees' home opener is June 25th at Corbett Field. The Minotauros wrapped up their regular season this past weekend, and now the focus fully shifts to the postseason. The Toros hold the one seed in the Central Division and will face the Austin Bruins in the first round. Forwards John Small and Jack O'Hannison explain the differences between regular season and postseason hockey. There's just a different sense in the room. Like everyone's dialed in, they're determined. Like, because you know, what's on the line is you're going home at the end of the day, but we're just going to try and stay here as long as we can and keep, keep in the running as long as we can. It's definitely a different game, I think. You know, if we just stick to our game plan, it'll be good. Um, we didn't have a great run last year, so maybe if we make it a little longer, I'll make it better. Game one is Friday at 735 at the Mesa. We will have an in-depth look at the Toros first round series for this Thursday's Toros time. That's all we have in sports. We'll be right back.